changing focus entirely now back here in Australia. Now, when was the last time that you had a $100 note in your wallet? Never. Um, Never. <laughs> rubbish. He's Never. money bags over here. Never. If it's been a while, then it might surprise you to hear that more than half of the value of all cash in Australia is held in $100 bills. Really? Yeah. Mm. But is it time to phase out these big green notes? This week, Shadow Assistant Treasurer Andrew Lay renewed calls to get rid of $100 bills. He says tax evaders, human traffickers and drug runners are the main sources of demand for hard currency. So it's time to think about phasing out our big notes. Well, joining us to discuss this issue, Professor Steve Worthington from Swinburne University Business School and Liberal Democrat Senator David Lionhelm. Good morning to you both. Steve, to you first. Mm -hmm. Look, like us, if you ask most Aussies when they last had a $100 bill, they no. just can't remember. So where are they all? <laughs> well, I, I've got one here, actually, that I went into the bank yesterday. I had to go to the bank to get it out because uh, ah. they don't come out of cash machines. Uh, so it was a very rare occurrence for me to have a $100 note as well. Yeah, wow. Where are they all? Well, there's a whole range of areas where they could be. Um, some people say that they're used as a store of value. I mean, interest rates are so low at the moment that you, there's no uh, there's no opportunity, no opportunity cost in just keeping the money under your bed uh, under the mattress. So mm. people are keep, ca ca keeping uh, notes as stored value. But otherwise, they're obviously of use in what's called the grey economy, people who are paying tradespeople in cash, mm. avoiding the GST. And then, as you pointed out in your intro, uh, often in the black economy, because it's reckoned that uh, these high denomination notes are the criminal's uh, choice of currency for money laundering. So, Steve, do you think it is time to get rid of the $100 bills? And for that matter, I wonder if... We all currency is not going to disappear eventually. I mean, yeah, are you yeah. tap and go everywhere now? Yeah, pretty much. I, very rarely now will I carry cash and you don't like having coins. So will currency, the physical notes, will mm -hmm. they go all together one day? I can't see it happening like that. If you got rid of the $100 note, people would just revert to the $50 note to get rid of that down to the $20 <coughs> note. Uh, and as for currency itself, I, I think there's always, there will be a role for, uh, for currency, for cash, as you like. Mm. I think it's, cash has got its own AAA accreditation. First of all, it's accepted nearly everywhere. Secondly, it's anonymous. All your transactions are not recorded. And thirdly, it's authentic. I can touch it, mm. I can smell it, I can hug it, <laughs> I can kiss it. <laughs> it's can a spend wonderful it. thing to have. I can spend it, yeah. <laughs> so I can't see it being eroded in, in the fullness of our time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Uh, no, Senator David Lionhelm, you don't think that we need to get rid of the $100 bill. Why do you think that we should keep it? Oh, there are several reasons. Uh, there's a practical one. Uh, we've already, as we've already heard, people like to feel money. Um, I think it's perfectly legitimate for some people to say, well, you know, you might trust a bank, but don't force me to trust a bank to look after my money. I think that's a perfectly reasonable idea. Um, if you haven't seen a hundred dollar bill recently, uh, though, I suggest you go to Aldi's and get a cash out. They do hand out hundred dollar bills there if you, if you take more than a hundred dollars out. Um, but the bigger issue is why would we want to get rid of them? Um, they are mainly arguing about the black economy and, and this idea that people are evading tax. Now, um, I'm not in favour of evading tax, but I think not paying tax is sort of your civic responsibility if you can do it legally. So, so to uh, suggest that we should get rid of a perfectly useful uh, uh, note in order to uh, pay more tax it, it, well, it's, I think it's a bad idea. It's against my religion, but uh, but it's a bad idea generally. <laughs> yeah, avoiding tax is uh, the Australian way. Well, mm. it shouldn't be. Minimising it should be. Uh, exactly. Now, Senator, I want to ask you, there are claims most of the cash in circulation in this country is being used for criminal activities like drug running and tax evasion. We said that at the start. Doesn't that suggest we do need to get rid of the big notes? Well, there are claims about that. I, I haven't seen any firm evidence of it. And in any case, uh, we, in Australia, we seem to have this attitude that if some, somebody's using something for a uh, nefarious purpose, for something we don't approve of or which is illegal or something, then we're going to ban it, rather mm -hmm. than go after the guys who are doing the bad things, you know. If, if there are criminals using $100 notes for illegal purposes, why don't we chase the criminals and leave everybody else alone? It, it, it's the lowest common denominator, uh, denominator attitude all sure. the time. Okay. All right, too much of it. Uh, so cash is still king. We th uh, thank you both, uh, Senator David Lionhelm and Professor Steve Worthington. Thank you for your time. Thank